If you're in the US, you may be familiar with a store called Five Below. They've been around for nearly 20 years now, but I've only recently learned about them as they started expanding quite a bit and they've opened up a bunch of stores in California, which is where I'm at. And recently, within the past few years, they opened up one essentially right down the street from me. And occasionally we go and check the place out. It's a discount store. They're you know, thing was like, oh, we're selling stuff $5 and below, but they do have quite a few things that are above $5. Maybe they should change their name to five and above. I, I don't know. But the one thing with that store, I think it's pretty cool. They always have random stuff. Uh, my kids like going there. So occasionally we'll wander around in there. Maybe we're going to go to the movie theater that's across the street, go buy some cheap candy. You know what I'm saying, but they do have a video game section that I thought was pretty interesting. And sometimes you'll even find actual games for the Xbox and PlayStation for like five to $10 type of thing. But they also sell a bunch of accessories for you know, various consoles. And the thing that I found interesting was the Nintendo Switch. Sometimes they have pro controller type replacement items, like their version of a pro controller. They sell like game cases storage cases, carrying cases, uh, screen protectors, all that kind of stuff. But the one thing that I recently seen there that I thought was interesting was this $20 Joy-Con set. Wireless controllers for the Switch. I mean, can you go wrong spending $20 for some Joy-Cons, especially in an actual retail store in North America? I mean, maybe you can, but I thought, you know what, we got to check this out. For $20, what are we gonna lose here? $20, essentially. But sometimes, you, you know what, man? Like, you could have some Joy-Cons that get jacked up or you got, like, somebody you don't wanna touch your Joy-Cons. Maybe this is a good replacement in the time being. You know, Joy-Cons are like, what, $70, $80 for a pair? $20, a quarter of that. You know, maybe you can make do with these, but okay, we're gonna jump into this. So we got that sticker there. They always have these stickers on all the, uh, the items, 20 bucks is what I paid for this thing. Uh, screenshot function, USB type C charging, vibration, rechargeable battery, um, included lithium ion 3.7 volts, right? Bluetooth, it says the brand is uh, Digital Essentials. I noticed a lot of their stuff in there is by Digital Essentials. And my assumption is, is that that's like a house brand. And the one thing like this sticker down here, it says it's distributed by 1616 Holdings Inc which is a subsidiary of Five Below. So this already, I mean, it's not gonna have like every feature that you may want with a Joy-Con, but if you just want some basic functionality, this, this might be for you. So let's, let's check this out. Bluetooth wireless connection only between controllers and gaming device. Okay, some warnings on there. And we have a, is this a dual USB-C charger? Yeah, we got two USB-Cs attached to that. I believe they said it's 200 milliamp hour batteries per controller. Immediate looks, just kind of, I'm like a few feet away from these. They don't look horrible. Those actually look like Joy-Cons that you, like the, the analogs that are on the normal Joy-Cons, they actually feel pretty much the same. A lot of devices use the same exact like Joy-Cons and yeah, they, they feel, and they look like the same. Kind of interesting. Very light feeling, very light. We got that vibration in there. Oh, they got butt cheeks on the back. A reset button there. Our extra buttons up here that are a little stiff and kind of hard to get to. Like this one's a little clickier. This one right here on the right than this one. Oh, those buttons feel ass, dude. These don't even feel like something on a $20 controller. They feel like something on a $5 clone console you import from China. These, everything is very, wow, look at the freaking, look at that. It looks like a gear and a cheap plastic toy. The shoulder buttons, wow, that is garbage. I'm kind of, um, we haven't used them yet, but right now I'm feeling kind of stupid. 
that I bought these things. Okay, they have like this button here. Oh, you don't slide them on, you place it and let go of that button and then they stick on. Okay, you don't slide them on. I, I was starting to wonder like how the heck, and if you accidentally hit those buttons back there, like, yeah, I'm not gonna do it. I don't want my OLED to fall, but it'll just, as you see, I'm, if you accidentally push that button, just a little bit of pressure, these things will come off. We got them. They're synced up as Joy-Cons. They're recognized. Interesting. Oh, I hate these buttons, dude, but they're in there. The analogs feel fine, but these buttons are a bit wonky. Yeah, the, the worst part of it are these shoulder buttons. Everything registers just fine, but it's just the feel of everything. The analog sticks seem all right. Does the manual tell you anything? Bluetooth version 5.0, range 32.8 feet, charge time 1.5 to two hours, four hours of play time. Just tells you how to connect and how to charge. Oh, the charging ports are underneath where those connection lights are. These controllers, they are a little scuffy. The plastic kind of probably hard. You could probably see that around there. Like I didn't do that. That's how they came out of the box. So the plastic is a little scuffy. These shoulder buttons are very like scratchy. Like this side is. This side's smooth. I don't know, like the lip on this one, the right one is smooth. This side, it's got a little like scratchiness to it. It's like a little overhang, little extra plastic. Ugh, I'm using that little sliver up there, the little gear, this, the analog sticks are, are, are just fine. You'll probably get drift after a while because they're probably essentially the same exact analog sticks, but they're fine. The buttons are a little mushy, but these, these triggers, you got rumble, you're not going to have any gyro anything like that, very basic. Let's see, does it wake up with the home button? Probably not. Oh, it does, it does. Okay, you could wake with the home button. Gotta hit home on both of the, uh, both sides to turn them both back on. But okay, I mean, that. Uh, what can I say, $20? I mean, if you're in a, a pinch and you're broke and your Joy-Cons are, jacked up this could be like an okay like i'll just use these for now if you want to play in handheld otherwise i mean there's other options for cheap pro controller replacements you know what i mean that are probably way better than this but if you have to have your handheld gaming and you're in a bind your local five below might have you covered um i'm not sure if every single one of these them have these but they're listed on online on their website Actually, it doesn't look bad with them on it. It's just the quality. I mean, you're getting what you pay for, $20. Eh, it could be worse, could be worse. I mean, I, what was I hoping? Like, that they're either complete garbage or that they're amazing? I didn't have my hopes up at $20 that they were gonna be the most amazing thing. But also at the same time, I thought they were gonna be a lot worse than they are, but I still, like, my main criticism I understand $20, you're not gonna have like every feature, NFC and gyro and all that, that's fine, I get it. My main gripe is this top stuff, man. Just like these are very crunchy, clicky shoulder buttons. Like they just don't feel natural, dude. Like these, I don't like them the best either, but they feel better. They just feel a heck of a lot more quality than what's on here. Mm -hmm. There you go. Appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you think down below. Bye.